if you're a content creator, you've probably made 100, 200, 1000, even up to 1500 pieces of content with your TikTok, with your Instagram reels. And if you're like that, one thing that a lot of people don't know is that you can automatically post those videos without the watermarks to your Google Drive. So today I'll be showing you how to use AI tools such as repurpose.io to automatically put those videos on there so that you never have to lose those videos that you work so hard on. So as you can see over here, the last four years or so, I've created probably around a thousand pieces of content over my content creation career. And I've had um, some unfortunate experiences where I've been shadow banned before. I've had friends that have lost their accounts and it's really unfortunate because they put hundreds of, you know, thousands of hours into their business. And I think one thing that you can do as a content creator to protect yourself is to make sure that you're backing up all your content automatically because you worked really hard for that. So I've literally on autopilot have been collecting all of my videos over the years so that in a rare case of anything were to ever happen, I can always reuse that content safely and know that it's my content, not on some other platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, that they don't own your content that you do. So first of all, if you haven't already, go ahead and start a free trial. Go to repurpose.io and you can get uh, your account up and running in just a couple short minutes. Then when you log in, you simply want to go to your connections tab and you want to connect your source video, which for most people will be TikTok. So that's kind of what I'm going to be going over today. So you want to make sure that your TikTok is connected. And then for me, um, it'll be your Google Drive. Um, connection as well and obviously you can connect all your other social media platforms as well but today we're just gonna be talking TikTok to Google Drive and you can be using this with other social medias as well so you can do Pinterest to Google Drive or YouTube to Google Drive or Facebook to Google Drive if you so want to but a lot of people like TikTok at the moment so that's what we'll be rolling with once connected your accounts you simply go to workflows and you do create new workflow on the top right and when you click on that, you'll get a few prompts, uh, very simple prompts. And I'll be going through these with you uh, just so you never get lost. So you first you want to name the workflow. So this one would be uh, TikTok to Google Drive. Um, and you can name it whatever you want to, just so you know what the workflow is called. And then so then when you, when you press next, you'll do choose a, a source type. And for this example, like again, you can choose Instagram, YouTube, Facebook lives, Facebook videos, uh, whatever you want to, but this example will be doing TikTok. And then you want to choose a source connection. I only have one TikTok account connected, so I just press next. Now we're going to the action um, point of repurpose.io and you want to make sure that it's on upload video and you also want to have it set to full video. Okay. Then you press next. And then you want, now we're talking about choosing the destination. So we put in, we named it, we chose TikTok as the source. We did the action is upload the video. And now we're going to be choosing Google drive as the destination. And so you can choose a, a Google drive folder that you already have set up if you want to, or you can make a new folder as well. And you just simply put in the new name, let's say like um, TikTok uh, content. And then you just, you create new folder and then um, because I already have this workflow, I won't press done, but then you just simply press done. So now that you just finish something like this, it'll be TikTok to Google Drive icons. And then right here, you have a manual and auto selection. I always have mine on auto and it will give you, um, it'll give you the option to start starting tomorrow or you can set it for today if you want to. And it'll show you if the status is active, it'll show you how many videos in this workflow have been, um, done so far and you can always view the content as well so if i click on view content it'll show all the videos that have been automatically posted onto my google drive from this workflow and you can see publish publish like the beautiful thing about this is i don't have to do any extra work i set it up once and i honestly kind of forget that i even have it there but it's always there if i ever need it and that's just the beauty of automation ai tools and repurpose.io and so let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this specific workflow. 
Um, have you backed up all your content before? Have you ever got your account banned or shadow banned? Um, if any of those things are yes, then you really need to consider adding this workflow to your marketing strategy. Thanks so much for joining me today on how to do workflows with Google Drive and how to automatically uh, back up all of your content. Hopefully you learned quite a bit and we hope to see you in the next video.